dog. I don't uh, ever do uh, edits with these impressions, these unboxings, whatever you may call it. But if I did, I'd use Edit James at last because, yo, win the game. Uh, anyway, so if you haven't seen one of my unboxings yet, we pretty much get into it. Pretty much raw dog style. There's not really much flair. There's no editing to this video, like I just said. I just go in there, I show you the shoes. I'm basically being uh, meandering here because I can't believe I got these Grails, OGs. Um, I guess we at least lift the box up so you know that I'm not just bullshitting you. Um, so back in 2000, and I believe 15, um, I carded the the 750, the gray 750s, OG 750s. And I was in, it was my first day of work. It came out of my first day of work. And it was already pissed at me because I sat down on the job. Like, they were legit eyeballing me, shit-talking me because I sat down on the job. Because I was dishwasher. And I tried to take a bathroom break so I could actually check out. And I was, like, trying to cart and clean dishes at the same time. And my fucking phone's getting fucked up. And the shitty job had such shitty internet connection I couldn't cart. Maybe also was the fact that 5 billion people wanted those. But the other shoes that came out that year were the original 350s, the Yeezy Turtle Dolls. I believe that's the name officially. This is where it's grab that motherfucker. I'm just going to have to reach out and get it. I hate doing these one-handed, but uh, the Yeezy 350. I guess this is the original box. These are the V1s. The first colorway ever for the Yeezys and with no further motherfucking to do I'm going to grab it out the Yeezy Boost 350 V1s Turtle Doves I can't believe it I did not in my entire life ever think I'd be looking at this colorway uh, in my own possession. The only time I ever believe I've ever saw it was at Disney World for my mom's graduation. And this is around the time where I think it was only these in existence and maybe, um, maybe the, um, I think it was TDs, Pirate Blacks, Moon Rocks, and then one that starts with an O, like Ozone, or whatever the fuck it's called. Um, and then I believe the Beluga's V2s were next, but I believe it's only these and a pair of blacks when I saw my only pair ever of Turtle Doves in reality, and I now have a V1, which is astonishing to say the very least. I'm, uh, I'm just floored. I really don't know what to say. I'm at a loss of words. I went, uh, U.S. and like, five. I have no clue how these fit. Uh, these retail currently for resell for, I believe, a thousand dollars last time I checked. Uh, some idiots sold it for like brick price after Yeezy Day. Uh, these are probably my most valuable shoe in spades, and maybe one of my grailiest grails as well. Um, I, it's, I don't know what to say. I'm at a, really at a loss of words. No supply 350. Uh, wow. Well, um, well, let's get a few comparisons out. Um, let's see what we got here. Uh, I don't see any reason about the 500s or the Wave Runners. Uh, let's see what else we got. You guys get to follow me around. I said there's no edits, and there will be no edits. Uh, let's see. Uh, okay. All right, one more pair of shoes I'd like to get. So we have. The Belugas, uh, these are the restock of the V2s that came out about, 
I think late 2021. I still have the, the font intact, so pretty good quality. I think all things considered. Uh, you can still see some of the water, the boost. Uh, maybe not great in the eyes of the camera, but um, pattern obviously different. Supply 350, obviously not there. Uh, higher raise hill tab, higher raise whatever this is, this thing right here, this, that. Um, lacing stall is actually pretty, lacing pattern, pretty similar, I think, all things considered. Um, the stitching pattern, I would say pretty similar. The ridges, the ridges uh, are definitely more subtle, subtly kind of put on in terms of the midsole while they're very pronounced uh, on the supply. I'm assuming these are like exactly the same as the original Turtle Doves. Uh, they could have subtle differences, but I know some shoes do, but uh, maybe because the coloring, uh, different uh, stitching, feels like a, a different stitching pattern in the back. You can see that a little bit. Um, and then obviously with a different pattern, it kind of blends differently as well once you like look at the surrounding parts of the stitching um it's it's different like it's it's noticeably different a model it's not really there's some subtle differences and there's some outward differences that are pretty obvious but uh definitely a different model um here's the boost kind of pattern on the bottom and then here's this does not include the adidas at the top and then also has this boost at the bottom so i believe those shoes do not They have something at the bottom. I don't know if they... They do have boost at the bottom. Okay, cool. Right. We have the zebras, which um, have seen uh, everything but Christ. Uh, not really much difference between the, the zebras. And uh, I'm not even putting those in the same video. As, forget you saw those. I know this is a very professional video. Uh, we also have the, I guess you call them the, I, I forgot the actual name of these, but they're not butters. But uh, we have these, which have been my butter replacement after my butters got stolen. Uh, these are the 450s. If you want to like have a length comparison. Very lengthy shoe, very skinny shoe as well. Uh, I feel like they're pretty similar in terms of like their width. No, no, no. Well, this is the time. Uh, if you saw my recent New Balance clog video, my hopes and dashes were immediately, my hopes were immediately dashed after I did the size test to see how those would fit on me. Um, I can see immediately those did not work. These look like they should work. I'm almost scared to wear these. Also, I, mean, I forgot that this thing was in the middle of this. Obviously it has no equality uh, once these evolve into the the V2s, there's not anything like that. This this part is more pronounced. That kind of middle of the midsole, I guess, kind of replace some of the area that goes into this. But there's no one-to-one -one for this in any V2 I've ever seen. <sighs> okay, let's see how this fits. If it does not fit, there's literally no... I'm not getting more of these because it's sew it out obviously god i hope i can't i don't know if i can do this i mean it's different with this because it's not a clog if you don't have a clog that fits you're out of fucking luck these if it was too small you take lining out which i would hate to do so because i sweat that my ass off in the bottom of my feet um if it was too small you know you could take that off it's too big i mean you could tie it tightly also the lacing um is there an extra, I feel there's an extra row with the, the V2s that it's not on here, but I could be making that up. Anyway, let's try it out. Oh, not having a heel tab is way different to pull by. Oh, they're too big. Yeah, they're too big. They're like narrowly too big. You can kind of, I mean, you, I wouldn't say narrowly. It's 
A little bit too big. Okay. They're, I mean, I don't even know, like, they're not huge. Like, my toe ends here. So it's like a half size. You, you should, like, this is, I don't know. I don't want to say, you should, I don't want to recommend you should go a half size down, but this is where my toe ends. If I, like, put my shoe, my foot to the back as much as I can. Okay, so if you went down half a size, I don't think it'd be the worst idea. These are a size 11. I wear, I thought size 11 and pretty much all Adidas runners. Um, these are also size 11. These are V2s. Uh, let's see, just to confirm, as you may not be able to see in there because it's impossible to do so. Those are size 11s. So you have to trust me on that. These fit perfectly. I mean, well, actually, <laughs> actually, my my toe ends in these in a size 11, too. So, actually, forget all the other stuff I said. Pretty much just about the same fit. I don't know. These, these are tighter. Like, the, 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 um, the ankle part is tighter in these than in here. I don't know why, but it's, it's just a narrower... Like, it's just narrow around here, so I don't feel... It doesn't feel loose. Like, this back part does not feel loose on here. It's the same shoe size. It's just this part is way tighter. I guess because of the, the, for lack of a better word, the prolapsed uh, heel tab. Or pronounced heel tab, I guess I should say. That's PG. This shoe just does not have that same level of, like, tightness around the, the, uh, the proverbial... Proverbial? The actual ankle. It just does not tight. This is not very tight. You can see, I just, same foot. I mean, same foot. It's just not as tight around the back of the, this, what you call this, a tendon, I guess, fucking tendon back here. Um, this is not, it's the same shoe. It's the same general fit as far as the toe goes. It's just way looser in the back end, which is a pain in the ass. So, I guess I would say, you know, kind of size accordingly. You're not going to, if you like got, like to have bigger shoes, but some people do. I mean, I generally get around with bigger shoes. I mean, I'm fine with it for the most part. Um, I just got the fucking, uh, I don't understand it. It's going to be way different in terms of the, kind of the, uh, the, the, the ankle. It's a different fit. I think I have one foot that's bigger than the other. I don't know which one is which, but. It's mild. It's not like a massive difference, but uh, both of them fit like loose. So, yeah, keep that in mind. I mean, they're not they're not so big. I can't rock them. I just gotta have a tight lace. But um, I would say like probably the 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 toe box feels about the same. This feels like a little bit more elastic. Like this definitely feels looser a material. Like not as tightened as this. This feels like. Kind of a fairly, like, not stiff, but, like, just, there's not nearly as much give. Like, this is on the other aspect of, like, giving a lot of give as far as material goes. And they went a lot tighter with this. And for, in terms of construction, I definitely feel like the V2 is a better constructed shoe. Like, I don't know if that's contentious or not to some people. I don't know. But I definitely said that the V2, while there are not nearly the uh, proportion of coveted models in the v2 the v2 is definitely a like well-made shoe and a better made shoe than this one i'm not saying this is a cheap filling shoe it's not it doesn't feel cheap it just as you would expect they did better with the net shoe and i i think it's a pretty big jump in construction in comparison to the v v1 but I mean, it's the same thing kind of the V, the, the V2, while the V1 may have some iconic colorways, the V2 is like a way better constructed shoe than the V1. You just kind of look at the breakdown of it. I'm not going to say that I own V1s, or not V1s, but Yeezy 1s and Yeezy 2s, but the Yeezy 2 is a way better made shoe than the Yeezy 1. And I think it's the same thing here. Uh, I love this. I mean, this colorway is obviously very practical. I mean, it's gray, black, cream. I mean, you're going to be able to wear this wherever you kind of want to wear it. It's the original Yeezy. I don't have anything else to say. I like it. It's got the wear very tight. I may do the fuckboy uh, cause, cause lacing again. Uh, I don't know. If, 
I feel like you can get away with it on some zebras because the zebra, zebras are like the most like fuckboy shoe out of every Yeezy ever made, at least with Adidas. <laughs> but um, you, <laughs> I don't know some shit like like grail like a turtle dove. I'm not sure how that might play with people. I'm not sure how people might feel with me doing that. I don't know. That's it for me. Uh, the Yeezy One or 350 V1 Turtle Dove. Crazy cop. Glad I got them. Uh, I'll have to make it work, which I... Good problem to have. I am not reselling these. <laughs> I don't give a shit about how much it costs. I don't give a fuck. I'm keeping these.